Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Robinson. I'm the Chief Academic Officer here in East Baton Rouge Parish School System. I'm hoping that each week that we come to you with these updates, that this will be a help to you. Uh, perhaps it will help make your work a little bit easier for our principals, for our teachers. Perhaps it will help keep you on track as to what you should be focusing on in math and in science. You will also, at times, be receiving updates from ESL, ESS, Fine Arts, GT, which is gifted, and also perhaps even from Magnet. We are planning some exciting things throughout the course of this year. And each week that we come to you, we will pro be providing those updates to you just to help keep things on track. Uh, if you need anything, teachers, to our principals, please reach out and let us know. You can contact the uh, Division of Academics. You can contact us at the PDC or you can email me directly. I'm more than happy to receive your emails and respond back to you personally around any issues that you may need uh, support with. My email address is Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, Robinson at ebrschools.org. Thank you so much for what you do each and every day for our scholars. Good afternoon. My name is Robert Garcia from the Exceptional Student Services Department. This afternoon, I would like to share with you the focus of the week for the department. We are approaching the midpoint of the first nine-week period of, for the school year 2021-2022. At this time, we would like for you to track your students' academic progress. Communicate with the parents the progress of their children or the lack of progress as it relates to the IEP goals and objectives. For students who have lack of progress, meet with the IEP team or the regular ed teachers to discuss interventions that need to be implemented. We would like for you to also periodically to check your IEP roster to keep up with IEP timelines. Lastly, double check and make sure that the IEP accommodations Behavior support plans and health plans have been given out to the regular education teachers and staff members for implementation. Hi there, fine arts educators. This is Roxy Victorian, your dance instructional specialist. We're going to use this weekly time together to discuss curriculum and instruction, upcoming events, performances, audition opportunities, and all things fine arts. Just a reminder that we hope everybody is maintaining and recovering well after Hurricane Ida and that you're back into the classroom getting the ball rolling. Just another reminder that weekly we should be diving deep into those 5E lesson plans and submitting them through Canvas to your school administrator. This week's curriculum and instruction reminder is that we should all be diving deep into those 5E lesson plans and submitting them weekly to your school administrator. Should you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Fine Arts office. You may reach me at rvictorian at ebrschools.org. See you later. Bienvenidos. Hello, my name is Cesar Rico, and I'm the proud ESL Executive Director of the ESL Department. I'm very excited to bring you some great reminders and updates for the upcoming week. I'd like to first, remind everyone that all ESL instructional specialists should be providing push-in supports to all schools. Pull-outs are fine, but schedules should also reflect that ESL instructional specialists should also be providing push-in supports. Also, accommodations for our EL students should be done by our regular ed teachers with the coaching supports of our ESL instructional specialists. And finally, I'd like to remind everyone as well that our ELs are multilingual scholars. We have great untapped potential with East Baton Rouge Parish, and I'm proud to say that we're gonna do some great things in our district. Thank you, and I hope you have a fantastic week. Good afternoon, EBR. I'm Justin Robichaud, the math supervisor for our district. I wanted to take this time to explain to you some things that are going on in our department and some look fors that we want to see in our classrooms next week to improve our instruction and teaching. 
The first thing is make sure we are following our pacing as prescribed by our Canvas portal. Our math department worked diligently last week to ensure that all pacing was caught up after Hurricane Ida came through, so pacing is now back on track. And also, teachers, make sure you continue to annotate those lesson plans. That is one of the greatest ways to increase engagement and questioning in our classrooms. Finally, we wanted to introduce you to our Dreambox Fall Challenge. All information will be pushed out in our principal connections, as well as our teacher connection. And you can also find all that information at dreambox.com. As always, thank you for everything that you do to make EBR a great place to learn and work. If you need anything from the math department, please don't hesitate to reach out to our department at J-R-O-B-I-C-H-E-A-U-X at ebrschools.org. Greetings. My name is Dr. Kristen Antoine Morse, and I am the Science Curriculum Supervisor for East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of your hard work and dedication over these past few weeks of school. With the beginning of school and experience Hurricane Ida, you have shown what it is truly like to be a community. We thank you for the commitment to our students. With that in mind, the curriculum focus for the next week of school are as follows. Kindergarten through fifth grade, Everyone should be in Unit 1, either completing Unit 1 or deeply in the middle of their Unit 1 information. For grades 6 through 8, everyone should be in Unit 2 or finishing Unit 1 at this point in time. For our high school grades, each content should be in Unit 1. Also, be sure biology that you are following the curriculum in the Inquiry Hub lessons. This means that you should be in Unit 1 and focusing on Addy. For all other content, high school science, you should be following the curriculum that has been provided to you or that you have created based on your advanced placement, dual enrollment, or other status. Also, be on the lookout for the STEAM explosion that will be happening this school year. You don't want to miss out. This will be posted in Principal Connection. So please be sure that your principals sign you up for this opportunity. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me at K-A-N-T-O-I-N-E, the number two, at ebrschools.org. Our science team is here and willing and ready to help everyone who needs assistance. Again, thank you so much for your commitment to the East Baton Rouge Parish School System and to the students of this district.